the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot Saint Benedict an outstanding master in the school of divine service, grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces. With two they veiled their feet. And with two they hovered aloft. They cried to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Whom will go for us? Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord, the Lord is, is king. king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord, the Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they are called the master the house of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household? Therefore do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim in the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? 
Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of Saint Benedict. And we pray for all uh, Benedictines today. Proclaim on the housetops, and I think we have heard of the expression, action speaks louder than voice. When Christ asked his disciples to proclaim everything on the housetops, he was encouraging his disciples to proclaim the gospel of God with courage. It was not only about yelling and screaming and, you know, shouting, but proclaiming in courage. Not simply with words, but primarily with action. And that was precisely Christ's conflict with some of the Pharisees, because the life of faith of at this, of the Pharisees who are the critics of the Lord, their life of faith was mostly based on words. You know, uh, they have memorized the scriptures, they can cite uh, the scriptures left and right, uh, but that was most of it. Their life was incongruent with the words that they spoke. As so Christ told his disciples, no, for those of you who would like to become my followers, we have to be consistent with a life in both words and deeds. And how do we do that? Christ says, proclaim, proclaim God with carries on the housetops. How do we proclaim the kingdom of God? With our action, not only with our words. So I think today is a very important challenge for all of us. You know, the church uh, in the past few days, uh, as we know, have experienced uh, <coughs> some kind of persecution. You just here in New York, we know um, a few weeks ago, the Cathedral of St. Patrick was vandalized. Uh, the statue of um, St. Junipero Serra in California was vandalized. In other words, uh, there are attempts to attack the church. And I think it's an opportunity for all of us once again to say, I am proclaiming my faith. I am not just sitting down. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to shout back. But I will publicly proclaim my faith through my life, through my life. When uh, the early Christian community was persecuted, they were not able to proclaim the gospel with their words. But in spite of the persecution, the church survived for centuries. Why? Because Christians continued to proclaim the Lord, not only with words, but with the lives they lived. So again, in our Mass today, we pray for that gift of faith Lord, I know my faith. I know them by heart. I can memorize the creed. I know all my prayers. But let my life of faith do not simply be reduced to that act of recitation of prayers, to the act of recitation of all the doctrines of the church. But rather, let my life of faith be a proclamation of you. And let my life, therefore, be a proclamation of God. Not only by the words I speak, but also, most importantly, by the way I live my life. Turning without fear to the Father, who knows even the number of hairs in our heads, we will offer him our prayers and petitions, and let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, may God protect her from all sin and wickedness and purify her in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all nations and peoples of the world, may the Holy Spirit bring an end to oppression and instill peace among them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those afflicted by fear or threatened by violence, 
May God give them comfort and hope in the promise of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those gathered here and at home through the intercession of Saint Benedict, may God give us courage to abide in his truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially Ruby Arguelius, Christopher Campbell, Dennis Donovan, that God may strengthen and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. It's on the occasion of her birthday for Veronica Egargo, that she continues to grow in the love of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Daniel Shereps, Margaret Fraser, and Mary Wood. May God call them each to join him in the everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And today we pray in a very special way for Milton Hemsley, and we pray for the intentions of Frederick Luna uh, on the occasion of his birthday. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, hear our needs and the cares and answer them according to your most generous will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed our Lord, your divine creation, for through the goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed our Lord, your divine creation, for through the goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine, and the work of human hands. It will be calm our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory, glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings which we make in honor of Saint Benedict, and grant that by following his example and seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just that you did our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, the thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praise is nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ, O Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that pleased you throughout the ages, we marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> At a Savior's command, informed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And let us give each other at home with the peace of Christ. Peace to everyone. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof. roof. But only, only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Let us now recite our act of spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <coughs> Having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will